What's up guys? So today I've got a tutorial for you on seam line removal. Um, seam lines are these leftover small gaps. Even if you pinch the parts all the way together, you still get a little bitty line right through here. Um, and those, not only they don't look very good, but if you close these up, it's going to help the structural integrity of the kit a little bit better. Um, sometimes you'll have them on the arm seams pull apart or uh, on the tops they'll uh, peel back so like the poly cap might not silt the right way. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of that today. The way I like to do it and the way a lot of builders seem to is using the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. Uh, this stuff is absolutely awesome. I use it on every kit that I've got. Um, even if it's just to tighten up a poly cap or mostly doing seam line removal. Um, this stuff is great. It's really, really thin. But in order to get it right, um, just along the edges, any part where it's going to show, you can just soak that down. I'm not sure if you can see it actually just getting wet and shiny right there on the edge. Um, but you'll give it just a little bit to soak into the plastic. Try not to get any on your poly caps or anything like that because it does stick. It doesn't stick to the poly caps great, um, but it does stick. So once you've got it on one side, set that down. We'll put it on the other side as well. And like you don't have to load it up or anything um, because once these are put together, we're going to put a little seam across the top to help it kind of adhere. Just to fill up any spots that we had that you know we might have missed or just went a little thin. So once these both have it on there and they're still a little bit tacky, you can put them together. Make sure I'm in camera there. I'll just pinch it together and hold it. You can see right there how a little bit has been pushed out. That's actually the plastic. I think it's uh, the way the glue works. It uh, softens up the plastic quite a bit. And just pinch and hold it together. Oh, was that a frame? Pinch it and hold it together. Uh, and just give it a little time to set like that. As you can see how a little bit of the plastic has started to melt down and squeeze out of those edges. Yeah. So we're gonna give that a little bit of time to dry once we put the last little bit. Just run a bead down top. You can just make the top shiny uh, and that'll help make sure it's all stuck together. And right there. So the bottom of here doesn't really show so it doesn't matter so much till we get some down here. Now we're going to let that dry. Yeah, you can see it's nice and shiny. Now I've got one already that I'd put glue on. Let's see if we can get it. So you can see where the glue is dried. It's set for about a day. Uh, plenty enough time where we can come back to it now. I even ran it down here, just on this little edge. Um, no real reason, just to make sure everything was stuck together. Uh, but what I like to do to remove that glue uh, and that built up plastic is I love sanding sponges. These things are super cheap. They're just a couple of bucks. You can get them at your local hobby shop or I think you might be able to order them online. Um, but just soft foam sanding blocks. You see I've got it labeled hard. Uh, and you're just gonna kind of sand away, keeping the contour of the part, just to not make a flat spot on there. Make sure I'm holding it so you guys can see it. You see I'm kind of brushing away at it, curving the uh, the pad as I go against it. Just to kind of, just to keep the shape of the plastic. I don't want a flat spot on there once it's top coated. You might be able to see it. Yeah. Once the top one's on there, just to sand off any leftover nub mark or anything, uh, I think we should be okay. Do the bottom now. Now, if you just send away a little bit, you'll be able to see the shiny part right there in the seam. Uh, that's just the recess in the plastic. So we're going to sand the, all that out just to try to make sure it's nice and flat and smooth. Because any imperfection on top of that, you'll be able to see once we paint it. Like I said, most of this is covered up, so I'm not really concerned about that so much. Uh, but right here, I want to make sure I get rid of all my seam lines. You can use a little bit lighter one now. The yellow ones are... Uh, a little bit lighter. I'm gonna sand those down to just get a little, a little bit more of our scratches off of it. All 
There we go. Um, you can see now all the seam line is gone. The dark spot right here is actually a nub mark. Yeah, the dark spot right there is actually a nub mark. Um, it's just the way the injection on the plastic is done. You're gonna have dark spots in there. Uh, I was gonna do this on a larger kit of mine, the Mega Size Zaku, um, but it had a really bad dark spot, a dark seam on there, and it's gonna get painted either way, but on smaller parts like this, uh, you're not really gonna be able to tell as much once they're top coated or once they're painted. So, um, that is the easiest way I have known to get rid of the seam lines. Uh, if you guys have any other suggestions or any other ideas, let me know. Um, but until then, then guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.